Hi, and thank you for purchasing the Virtual Studio 8 template pack. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects version CS6 and above, as well as Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's take a look at how to customize it. First download the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up any project. Inside the project folder you will find an After Effects version of the template and the Premiere Pro version. So let's open up the AE version first. Inside the project you will find the 00uChange folder which contains all the editable elements and the 00 main composition which is the main composition with all the scenes inside. So first let's open up the intro scenes section. Double click on the 00 intro composition to see the structure of this scene. Inside you will find five different parts, four with placeholders and the last one with just the logo. Now let's open up the elements from the first scene. There are three banners, a background screen and a text holder. Next, we'll need to import some media files. To do that, choose File, Import File and import your images, videos, the talent footage and optionally an audio file. Next, we'll drop the banner files into the placeholders. Delete or turn off the sample layers. We'll drop the footage file into the timeline. And to change the text, double click on the text layers and enter your own text. Now let's see how this looks. To change the logo image from the scene number 5, go to the scene folder and open up the intro logo composition. Drag your logo into the timeline. And you can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Now let's move on to the main scenes and we'll open up scene number 6. Inside the composition you can choose between a desk or a table or you can have them both turned off.
To add your presenter, double-click on the talent composition. and drag your talent footage into the timeline. To add an image or a video into the scene, open up the image angle composition and add your media into the timeline. You can add images or videos. In other scenes, such as angle 11, you can choose between different window views. Next, let's move on to the lower thirds section. We have included two lower thirds, and if you need more than that, you can duplicate them, but please make sure to do that in the project panel. Select the composition and choose Edit, Duplicate. To change the texts, simply double click on the text layers and enter your own text. Let's also add a logo into this composition. Here's how to add the lower third into the main composition. Simply drag and drop it into the timeline. The transitions work similarly, just choose one and drag it into the timeline like this. Each scene can be extended to up to one hour by dragging the end position of the layer. If you want to add an audio file, simply drag it into the main composition. To render this project, select the main composition and choose Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. The default preset, Match Source, High Bitrate will get you good results. You just need to click under the Output file to set the destination path of your video and then click on the green play button to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll take a look at editing this template in Premiere Pro.